So today I'll be reviewing this rotary drywall cutter. This is 18 volt battery power. We can use any of the Roby battery with this tools. It has the on button here and on the other side it is the off button. So let's listen to it. So we have this screw over here. We can unscrew it and adjust the height where we want to cut the drywall and it will stop right here. That means we're gonna push it in and we can start drawing along the outline. In the Roby box, it also came with the instruction catalog with more products. There's some of these tools right here. These are pretty important. They are like backup drill bits with this tool and we have these two that came in together. So this is to use to take the drill bit off. So this is very loose already, but this is where this button comes in for. So we want to press this, turn this to lock this thing. So keep pressing on it, go counterclockwise and your drill bit. And you can change to another drill bit, put it back in. This like goes kind of all the way in, but just leave it out a little bit. All right. And now you have a new drill bit installed. If we can take the whole nuts out, and we will have this piece right here. So this is a smaller piece for a smaller drill bit like this. It will fit in. That means this one is for bigger drill bits. This will fit here. You put a, a bigger drill bit, which is like the regular size, like the round drill bit. When you put the nut in, you kind of you squeeze in here and uh, keep keep the bit tight. I'll definitely recommend it for fifty dollars. So to demonstrate how this tool works, we're gonna use this example here. We're going to add an outlet right here, and we're gonna draw the power from this switch. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna to find the stud behind this drywall. This is telling me okay, the stud is like right in the middle here and the stud is around here. So we're going to find a spot to put our electrical box. So I'm going to put it about right here. I'll be drawing the line along the box. So that is the first outline and we're going to fill the gaps. And at this point, we can actually use the drywall cutter and cut this part out. This drywall cutter makes it very easy to cut through the drywall. It was almost effortless. This tool would be very useful if we are doing a lot of drywall work on the same day. And this is definitely gonna help out a lot. We can also use the drywall saw, but this video is about this tool. So I'll definitely recommend having this one if you want to make your work faster. So let's continue the project. So the next step we have to do is to remove the switch. And before we do that, we want to switch off the fuse that leads to this room. So now the light is off, we can remove the switch. So now I'm gonna drill a hole right inside of this electrical box so I can have access to run the cable to the opening down here. And now I'm gonna run the wire from this box to the other side. So there's nothing in between, so it should be pretty easy to just go straight down. All right, we got our cable here. So now we're just gonna get enough of cable here and I got this wire cutter. So I'm gonna cut it right here. And now we can actually work on the electrical box right here. All right, to do this one is pretty simple. We're gonna strip the jacket out. We have three cables. We're gonna strip the jacket out. So this junction box is a flush mount. 
how I can tell it is flush mount because it has these two ears. Whenever I withdrew the screw right here, this was just closing in and it will actually clamp the wall, top and bottom. We open up a hole here. We're gonna put the cable through. We're going to put the box in. All right. Alright, so now our box is pretty secured. So now we connect the outlet to the cable. So we have three colors, white, brown, black. On the plug, we also have three colors. The gold one goes with the black, the silver one goes with the white, and the ground will go to here. We have the black with the white here, and we have the ground that is connected right here. Pull it up. So now by looking at the switch over here, we have three colors of cable. We have the green one, which is the ground, which we will connect our ground there together. And then we have this red coming from the switch and black here, as well as three blacks going here. So at this point, I don't know which one is the main power, which one here controls the light. So now I'm going to turn on the power and see which one carries the constant power for the outlet. So what we're going to do right now is actually we're going to use this tester pen to check which line has the power even though the light is off. So we're going to turn off the light. We're going to use our pen and check this one this one here has the power this one here do not have the power so we're going to connect our outlet cable the black side to this one the ground one to the green together and the white one to the white one that is inside let's turn off the power so now we just need to hide everything now let's go turn on the power so right here we're going to test the light All right the lights work and we're going to check the power outlet here. All right, I have good wiring here. So this was a quite a short video on a little small project on demonstrating how fast this drywall cutter can cut the drywall. Hit the like button if you learned something new today. Subscribe here if you want to see me again. And I'll see you in the next video. Shoo.